Okay, so I've pressed along the seam where my opening is. I also pressed the hat band edge so it's nice and flat and smooth now. I wish I'd have done that before like I said I was going to do. Now I'm just going to sew all the way along this back neck edge. I'm starting, even though it's already stitched on the inside, I'm going to start right at the edge where the straps are because this will reinforce the strap. That means it will have more than one seam holding it in there. So back stitch. And I'm stitching. This time I'm at about an eighth of an inch from the edge because this three eighths is turned in and I'm not stitching a three eighths inch seam allowance anymore. I'm stitching very close to that edge all the way across to close up the hat. And then when I get to the other edge, I'll back stitch again over that strap. Cut it and it's done. Trim those threads. Okay, so it started out like this when it was sewn. Then we sewed that bottom edge closed and if there was already a crease on the hat band it would make it easier. So you have two crowns. You stuff one inside the other and then it naturally folds on that center crease of the hat band, the long edge crease of the hat band. And you can adjust it a little bit so that everything lines up. So inside, the seam between the hat band and the crown, the two crowns should line up. And as an extra measure, if you want to prevent it from poofing itself out again every time it gets washed, with your fingers, feel where those two seams are. Make sure they're lined up most of the way around. You just have to feel it with your fingers. You can feel the seams. And then you can go on the inside. You don't have to do it all the way around. You can start somewhere above the pleats. And I've got the seam between the crown and the hat bend there, and I'm going to stitch right along that seam, or stitch in the ditch. And hopefully they're more or less lined up one side to the other. Might have to adjust a little. It's all by feeling with your fingers. And then I'm just going to stitch right along the ditch of that seam from just above where the pleats were on one side to just before they start on the other side. Doesn't need to go all the way around to the back edge. And that will hold it all together. Back stitch there and cut the threads. Okay, I see I didn't quite get it lined up perfectly. So then I'll flip it and that will be the right side. Yeah, I didn't get those seams lined up very well there. Probably because I didn't pre-crease pre that hat band. Okay, so there it is. Um, there's one more step which is to sew on the buttons, but I'll do that in a separate video later.